guys. It is Friday, July the 26th. And we're gonna spread a little bit of manure here for a little bit, just a couple loads probably. Beautiful day out, sunny out on a cloud in the sky. Probably gonna be pretty warm. Well, I got my one load out. Time to go babysit. Well, good afternoon, guys. Uh, I got a little one here with me. Um, sunny and hot this afternoon. I'm not sure exactly what the temperature is, but it's warm. There's not much breeze. Uh, fairly humid. Dad's gone. Uh, he's got the 135 with the tether on it. And uh, he's gonna tether out that stuff that we had cut yesterday. So, lots of fine weather in sight, so I'm told. So I guess we'll hopefully get some hay made here uh, the weekend. Probably, I don't know. Depends how good the drying is, I guess. We'll see. Be surprised if it's ready tomorrow, but stranger things have happened. Um, anyway, yeah, just a gorgeous day out. Um, I got a bunch of bubble mix on my camera here, so hopefully it works still. I don't know where that would have came from, but uh, yeah. Anyway, we got some uh, viewer comments coming up here in a little bit, just as soon as they start rolling in. It's about uh, 1.30 or so. so uh, the video for today has been up for uh, about half an hour now. So, just got to wait through. Anyway, I'll uh, turn the camera around here and I'll show you guys some stuff, I guess. Alright, I'm standing here in front of the burn and next to the uh, most scenic manure pit in the world. But, uh, yeah, you can see it's just a beautiful day. There's not a cloud in the sky or nothing. Just beautiful out. Nice sandy beach down there. Oh, mostly sandy. Somebody with a dog, look. Not Albert, I don't think. Nope, not anyway. <laughs> anyway. We got the uh, 375 over there, sitting on the pump. The dry cows are just having a good time over there. And yeah, my uncle's hauling manure right now. I made a mess of your bear paws. That's all you did. You make a mess. trouble today with the uh, pump. I guess the intake pipe has a bit of a plug in the end of it. I don't know if it's straw or hay or what, but uh, it seems to be blocking off some of the flow. And uh, instead of filling the tanker in about three minutes, uh, that's about how long it usually takes. Uh, it's taking a little bit longer, uh, you know, five, six, seven minutes. Uh, seems longer than that even, but so I don't know. It's kind of slowing us down a little bit. I don't know if they'll want to pull that out and try to deal with that or maybe hopefully overnight it'll kind of unplug itself. I guess that wouldn't be very good either because it would lose prime then. I don't know. Anyway, it's kind of slowing us down. Yeah, you must have drove through here too. Alright, I'm in the house now where it's a little bit cooler. Super warm out today. Kind of gross really, but 
Anyway, I put a little one down for a nap, so I'm just going to answer a couple viewer questions here while I have a minute. Cameron Bielke, or Bielk, I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce your last name. Um, do you have any newer tractors that you think would be a useful purchase for the firm? Some of the newer tractors have many bells and whistles. Some would say more things to go wrong. So, uh, yeah, I mean, the newer tractors are nice. Um, I really like the newer Masseys, like the like the newest series is the 5700S series, so like a 5713S or 5712S uh, with a loader on it. I really like those. Super Dave's not real struck on them. He doesn't like the sloped hood on them. Uh, I think he'd actually sooner buy a uh, Case Maxim, like a 135 or 145 or something like that. <clears throat> But uh, I like the 5713s quite a bit. And even the older ones, like the 5613 or the 5713, that isn't the S series. I really like the sloped front ends on them. But uh, yeah, Super Dave isn't struck on them. But uh, I think that'd be a good replacement for uh, the 3070 with the loader on it. Uh, get something a little bit newer, um, power shuttle, and all that stuff. Uh, that would be nice to have. I don't think it's going to happen, um, <clears throat> but uh, it would be nice to have. Uh, so that's one tractor that I like that's new. I like all the new tractors, really. Um, I mentioned Case. I like the Case, too. I'm, uh, the Maximums are okay. I like the Pumas, uh, kind of the bigger ones, like a Puma 185 or 200 or whatever, like that kind of size. That'd be a good uh, manure spreading tractor. Uh, and as far as Massey's go, I like the, I think their 7700 series. Um, 7600 series too were nice. They're a little bit older. Um, I think if you guys watch Farming for Generations, uh, Brooks has a 7616, I think it is, which is a small frame. 7600 series with a loader on it. That's a real nice tractor. I'd love to have something like that. Um, but uh, I'd actually rather have a little bit uh, bigger than that, the large frame 7600 or 7700 series. So I think those were odd numbers, like a 7719 or something like that, I guess would be the new one. That'd be a good uh, manure tractor too, I guess. But it'd be kind of a waste to buy a new tractor for that at the same time. Um, there's all kinds of newer tractors than what we have that I like, um, but uh, the chances of seeing one arrive here on the farm are pretty slim. And uh, oh yeah, the new versatiles, the versatile Nemesis series. I really like those. I like all the versatiles actually. They're nice tractors, but there's no dealers here for them. Uh, I'm more inclined to buy a used one, uh, like at a warranty or whatever, or a lease return than a new one. I'm not saying we're going to do either, but the Versatiles, there's not much point in buying a new one if the closest dealer is in Ontario, which is, you know, two days drive away. Um, you just have to be doing all the work on it yourself anyway, so not much sense buying one like that, but I do like them, and uh, I'm glad to see them. I'm glad to see that they've returned to their original color scheme. I like that a lot better than the, like the Bueller Versatiles were. And, uh, and, uh, what else are like, oh yeah, they're getting into the smaller tractors, but the thing is with the Nemesis, uh, they're going to be sold under the Kubota name too, and we actually do have a Kubota dealer here close by, it's only maybe 40 minutes away or half hour away, um, so I don't think I'd ever buy one with Kubota paint on it. But uh, it'll be exciting. I'm sure they'll bring one in. The dealer here always brings in the big tractors. I don't know why they do. It seems like they have a hard time selling them. But uh, I guess maybe Kubota forces them too. And uh, yeah, so I like those. Um, what other new tractors do I like? Uh, I like the Deutz. They're pretty nice, Deutz Fire. Uh, I just like the color of them. I think they're very stylish looking tractor. I don't know if I'd ever buy one, but uh, I know one of my regular 
subscribers and and uh, he follows me on Instagram too, Sheldon Moore. They recently bought one with a loader on it. It was actually at the, the farm show there uh, in uh, March. So I think they're a nice tractor. Um, pretty cool. Uh, what else? Uh, New Holland, I'm not real struck on. I just assume by the case version. Um, although I do like the bi-directional New Hollands, like the TV, uh, 140, 145, and 6070, I guess was the last one they made, or they quit making them. Uh, they're pretty nice. I like the Fent, too. Fent and uh, Challenger, or the Agco brands, they're nice tractors. I don't, I couldn't tell you specific models of any of those. Um, oh yeah, John Deere. Um, I don't think you'll see us ever buy it. Well, I shouldn't say that. We've almost bought a John Deere at least once, a tractor. And Super Dave told me that if he was doing it over again with the harvester, he would have sooner bought a older John Deere self-propelled instead of the New Holland. So I wouldn't say we'll never buy a John Deere. Uh, I like some of the new Deere tractors, but I don't know. They're just not for me. Uh, the only real John Deere's that I like are the like the 10 series, 7010 series, like a 7810 or something like that. I really like those. They're a, a nice looking tractor, I think. So that's you're still talking uh, early 2000s probably though. So that's kind of old now at this point too. So I mentioned that we would get good use out of a you know 80 to 100 horsepower tractor with a loader on it that's new. Uh, shit spreading tractor, it'd be kind of a waste to buy a new one, but I mentioned a couple that were a good size for that. Um, what we could really use, in my opinion, is something um, in the 40 horsepower range with a cab on it. It wouldn't even have to be four wheel drive, it doesn't matter. Two wheel drive is fine. Just something for raking in that. Something that would kind of replace the 885 and the 135. Not that I really want to replace them, but uh, just something newer would be nice with a cab and rollover structure on it and all that stuff. AC would be good. I mean, uh, it wouldn't. We wouldn't retire the 135 or the 885, but it'd be nice to take a little bit of the work away from them. Uh, and put it on a new machine, <clears throat> especially on those hot days like today when you're just baking on the tractor. Um, that's uh, that's one thing that'd be good. But on the other hand, <clears throat> when I think to myself, you know, we'd like to have a 40 horsepower tractor with a cab on it, an AC, two or four wheel drive doesn't matter. The first thing that comes to my mind isn't a brand new Massey, I don't even know what the series is now, uh, or Kubota, or any of those brands, the first thing I think of is like a 1294 uh, Case IH, David Brown, with a, with a cab on it, that's, like, that's my ideal tractor, like, I'm already thinking it's something 30 plus years old, so, yeah, it's hard to even think about new tractors, really. But, uh, yeah, someone handed me a check tomorrow to buy a brand new tractor. The first thing I'd buy would be 80 to 100 horsepower with a cab and loader on it, like a 5712 or whatever. Anthony Farming, great video, nice bit of smelly stuff. How many gallons is your tanker? So our little uh, noon tanker is 3,000 U.S. gallons, which would be 2,500 uh, imperial gallons or I believe 11,500 liters or something like that, something around there. Anyway, that's all I got for today. I haven't got any more comments uh, on the video yet, so I'll leave it at that.